What's going on everyone, it's Snakebite here, and today we're going to be talking about how to be a better team. This is a very important topic because we got new games coming out and new games released. Uh, Halo Infinite at some point will be released. We have loads of Halo 5 and MCC tournaments currently going on. Uh, and then obviously Call of Duty Cold War was just released. You might even watch this video uh, from another title, obviously for this channel specifically. Uh, Halo and Call of Duty are the two main games that I feel like people tune in for or know me from. Um, so without further ado, let's jump on into the topic. Okay, so there's going to be three tips here, three tips on how to be a better team. Um, this is going to, it kind of dives into different categories almost. I feel like, you know, it kind of goes into teammates and stuff like that. We're just going to go with three tips. Hopefully your team will find it useful and I'm going to give some advice on maybe what to do if it's not seeming to work out the way you want it to. Okay, so tip number one is to make sure your team has the same goal. It doesn't matter how many players are on the team. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, 2v2s for Battle Royale, 4v4 for competitive Halo. Like, it doesn't make a difference. The number one goal, number one tip is to make sure your team, every single member, coach included, has to have the same exact goal the reason for that is very simple if you don't have the same goal your likelihood of achieving success is less and less um meaning you know i'm going to reference my own team in a lot of cases so hopefully people can like understand and relate to that royal two myself right we've been teaming i mean nine years okay nine nine years i know how i'm how i've managed i don't know he probably feels the same but the reason why us as a team has worked or us two teaming has worked for so long is because we have the same goals and you know um fast forward to teaming with frosty and lethal uh, for halo 5 obviously we team for three years with them um and still teaming to this day frosty went to call of duty picked up abg same same principle applies right you have to have the same goal. The reason why Royal2 and I work together as a duo and, and teaming so long is because through that time period, the goal is never lost. I think it's really, it, it's a tough, tough time, or I don't wanna say a tough time, but it's tough to find people who are of equal mind and have the same exact values as you. And that's okay, it's gonna be difficult, especially if you're new to competing, it is going to be very, very difficult. Um, Royal2 and myself, for example, are two people that don't take much personal time. Uh, we're very much about practicing every single day. You know, there's another thing that could apply, that is another tip, but we'll dive into that in a second. But you need to make sure, if you're someone who wants to practice every day, if you have a teammate who let's say wants to play four times a week or scrim four times a week because they want to um, have an off day or you know maybe they want to watch football or I don't you know I don't know it could be it could be any reason it could just be something to do with their personal life and that's not a bad thing but what's going to end up happening is an internal conflict is going to happen between those teammates or you know between the teammates that it has a problem with right if um Royal 2 and I are teaming and we want to play, you know, Infinite's out and we're very much, we want to play seven days a week. If all of a sudden Royal 2 is like, well, I don't want to play seven days a week anymore. I want to play three. When adversity strikes, you're going to have this internal conflict, um, which is why the number one tip is going to be make sure you have the same goal. Make sure you view things the same way. Um, this is out of game, not in game. This is out of game. Make sure you view stuff the same way and make sure you, I don't want to say have the same priorities because at the end of the day, almost everyone's priorities can be, well, I want to win, but there are different approaches to that. Right. And I've always leaned on practicing as much as possible because when you lose and you will eventually lose, there's no, there's no way around it. You're going to lose a game. You're going to lose a series. You're going to lose a tournament. Um, there's almost no way around it right? We tried. We tried for a very long time in 2016. It still happened, okay? But if you can, if this is just my mindset and my team's mindset for that matter, if you can go into it knowing you put your full effort and you tried your absolute hardest and, you know, you didn't miss a day, well, you can kind of pat yourself on the back and go to the next one and you know you're not far off of it. But for, if you only play three days a week, and you have a teammate that's to play seven days a week. The second you lose, maybe you're a winning team. Maybe you're really happy with how your team's progressing. The second things start to point a little bit in the other direction, you're going to run into this internal conflict. So the number one tip, make sure you all have the same goal and make sure you have the same outlook. I guess that might be a better thing than the same goal. Make sure you have the same outlook. 
All right, tip number two, learn how to speak to your teammates. This is a very, very important, important, this could be the number one tip, okay? Learn how to speak to your teammates. It's something I struggled with for a very long period of time. I think it's something that you learn as you progress. As you progress and get older, it's kind of, common sense, right? You learn how to speak, you learn how to respect others, you learn how to navigate relationships and figure stuff out, right? You don't wanna baby your teammates um, or your team for that matter, but learning how to speak to people is really important. You know, the way I can speak to Royal 2 is gonna be different than the way I could speak to, uh, most of my teammates are kind of the same, but like, I don't know, you know, like it, it, like the way I can speak to Royal 2 is gonna be slightly different than the way like, I speak to lethal or I speak to frosty, right? Everyone you need to under like, and this is kind of common sense, but I think it gets lost on competing. You need to know how to speak to certain people and what's going to push people in the right direction. So if I want something fixed in game, or let's say I have a problem with something that someone did with Royal two, I like, I we're very like just blunt with each other, right? It's just like, you did this wrong. Like make sure you don't do it again. Okay. Or actually, I don't know. It kind of goes either way. It depends on the situation as well, which is kind of, a separate side category like i mentioned there's learning how to speak to your teammates and then learning how to speak to your teammates in certain situations so it's a two-part it's a two-part tip i guess but overall um you know i, I don't want to stay on this too long just know how to speak to your teammates it kind of goes without saying the issue that people run into is that it's very easy to be generic in what you say we need to do this why did you do this when you have the same mindset like we kind of talked about that can become a very hostile situation and can become a very um, negative influence over a team. So learning how to speak to people, learning how to speak to your teammates, it's just, and learning how to speak to one another, it's just a matter of understanding you all have the same goal. And it's okay if it happens, that stuff gets hostile every now and then. But overall, when you speak to one another, you should be understanding that you all have the same goal. It's just about getting there and about understanding what is going on, which is gonna take us into tip number three, which is getting on the same page. But Real quick for tip number two, um, just be conscious of what you're saying. Don't be too rude. Don't be too hostile. If you're on a team and you're really on a team, like you want to improve with those players and the team that you have, eight out of ten times the hostile situation of just calling someone an idiot isn't gonna work. You need to you need to you know break it down in a non passive aggressive way and explain what this person did wrong and, and maybe even get their viewpoint as to what they wanted to do and why they made the play that they did. Got my LVP mug. All right, tip number three and the final tip of the video. Uh, make sure you are on the same page, okay? This goes without saying, I shouldn't even have to include this in the video, but the number one reason your team isn't succeeding, I don't even say succeeding, isn't trending in the right direction, is probably because you are not on the same page. When you are playing a game and competing at a game for that matter, there is, for lack of better terms, a million different ways to play. There probably really isn't. There's probably like three to four, right? <laughs> but overall, there's a bunch of different ways to play. There's a bunch of different ways to play a situation, however the case may be. Making sure you are on the same page and understanding how you want the meta to be played, understanding how you want certain situations to be played is the difference maker between winning a close game and losing a close game. When I'm competing, like I'll reference Halo 5 for a minute here. When we were competing in Halo 5, you know, we were seven days a week. We criticized everything that we did. We're breaking down film. We're going over everything 24-7. There was not a play, that when we would play a game type, there was almost not a play that a teammate would make that I did not understand or agree with. We, I, we knew, we knew everything that each other were going to do that one another was going to do. And, um, I don't think that that has to always be the case for every single team. If you look at like splice, right? Splice in 2018, you know, granted, um, the game in 2018 is very different than 2016 and 2017, but they just went off trusting themselves and like splice went one more off of trusting one another that they knew what to do, right? They weren't critiquing each other. They just trusted one another. Um, where our team, you know, is a little different because it's a new game, but our team breaks stuff down and really critiques those small situations. The reason being because we wanted to always make sure that if we're in an in-game situation, we're not sitting there wondering what to do or what, are, what, is, what is Matt going to go do here? What's Brad going to go do here? I know what they're going to do because we've gone over it and talked about it and figured out how we want stuff done. Um, so I don't 
think that there is a one answer fits all for this. Uh, just making sure you're on the same page, making sure there's that line of communication, how you want stuff played, how you want stuff done. Or maybe, you know, you take the splice-ish approach where it's way more of just um, making sure that you work together and you have the understanding that it's not going to be super hard critiqued. I think for all three of these tips, it's important to remember um, they're very general. It doesn't need to be super hard critiqued and figured out. And like, you know, if you want to take that approach, you, you take that approach, but overall, um, you know, having the same goal, uh, learning how to speak to one another and getting on the same page in game. I think it goes without saying those are three crucial, crucial things for a team to succeed and not just succeed because maybe you're not, Maybe you're watching this and you're and you're not trying to win a world championship. Maybe you're trying to win some wagers and you know, or you know, I don't know, win some online tournaments. Like it, it doesn't necessarily have to be super competitive. It could just be. Um, I think these three tips will not only help you improve as a competitive team um, for let's say like CDL or HCS or you know wherever you may be, but they'll also help you just overall in competition playing with your friends. So hopefully it helps. I appreciate the love as always on the channel. Um, if you like this style of video, you know, tips and tricks, stuff like that, this is a little bit more of a personal video, I feel like, because it's not necessarily in game. Uh, please let me know in the comments section so I know to really work on more videos like this. Uh, hopefully people find it useful. Uh, but other than that, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.